Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to fix that handheld shaky movement in your video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about stabilizing a video in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Shake. Click OK. Now we will import our two stock videos onto our project panel. Drag this first video and place it on our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have this amazing view from a camera on a tripod. As you see this video have no camera movements and it stays still while being shaked. Now bring in the second stock video. Here we have this shaky video but this time we have this camera movement from down to up. I will now teach you how to fix these two types of videos. Click on the first video, where no camera movements happening. Go to effects panel and type in warp stabilizer. Take the warp stabilizer and place it on our video. You can see the moment we placed it on our layer the stabilizing begins. This is because our Premiere Pro knows that it needs to fix the shaky video. Go to effects control panel and here we have our warp stabilizer doing its job. Warp stabilizer's job is its name suggests. It's trying to crop, resize and warp our video in a manner that the shaky effect will be fixed completely. It's finished, let's play it and see how it looks. That looks amazing. We now fixed our shaky video and now it looks good. If I disable the warp stabilizer, you can see the difference from before and after. In the warp stabilizer, on smoothness you can see two options. One is smooth motion and other is no motion. Because our video have no camera movement, smooth motion is not required. In this case, no motion will perform far better now than the camera movement video. Change it to no motion. Let's play it. Now that looks super perfect. Our video now looks fixed perfectly. Go to effects control panel. In the method we have this different option and our default is subspace warp. Subspace warp works in most of the time, but perspective and other options have its own advantages. Feel free to play with and you will learn a lot from it. In the framing we have this stabilize. Crop and auto size. That is what this warp stabilizer basically does. It takes our video and crop the edges of our video and increase its size then adjusting our video as per the camera movement and its shaky parts. You can use this synthesize edges option when your video is super shaky. This will create a mirror image along the edges to map the camera movements and fixes it. Go to advanced. Here we have the rolling shutter with two options. We will use the automatic reduction. You can choose the enhanced reduction but it will take a lot of time to fix our video. That's all there is to it in the warp stabilizer. We will now focus on our second video where the camera movement is pretty high. 
place the warp stabilizer on our second video and see how it looks. Now it's started stabilizing our video. In the effects control panel, here we have this smooth motion. Since our video have that movement we will leave it like this. Let's play it. Now that looks good. As you see our video is fixed. But if you look closely you can see that there are some weird parallax warp happening around the edges. To fix that warping on our video, we will increase the smoothness percentage. Let's play it again. That looks good. To improve this better, we will change the method to perspective. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks amazing. We now fixed our video with camera shake movements. We don't need to change any other settings for this video. We now know how to fix a shaky still video and video with camera moments. You will need this effect every once in a while and you will be amazed how well it works. I hope you learned something from this video. I will say it once again, your support is my motivation. Please keep supporting me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.